members of two longtime Buford political families are heading to court this week following a public fist fight that was captured by city security cameras. Yeah, remember this video? The Fox 5 I team first reported on that brawl pitting a city commissioner and his son against the two sons of a fellow commissioner. Now, Fox 5 I team reporter Randy Travis is live in Buford where the commissioners tried to put this whole thing behind them. Randy? Yes, Sine and Russ, this is the first meeting that they've held since we made public a fistfight that a lot of people here in town wish had just stayed private. Instead, supporters on both sides now are calling for the other side's commissioner to resign. Buford City Commissioners rarely make news, but when they do, they pull no punches. It's a way you can handle anything. You don't have to fight. Not that kind. Give somebody a black eye. <laughs> In the middle of a free Doobie Brothers concert last September, City Commissioner Chris Burge and his son Corey duked it out with Carson Smith and his brother. The Smiths are the sons of another city commissioner, Michael Smith. The whole ugly incident caught by a security camera outside the city community center. He got me once in the side of the face and once he, he sort of missed me but caught my shoulder. I had two big cuts, my ear was cut. And this part of my nose is still caved in. My brother and I both got hit before we ever threw a punch. And we only did it in self-defense. The first punch was Carson hit Corey and busted his nose. The video is not clear, but the reason for the fight sure is. Burge claimed Michael Smith was wrong to vote on certain land deals that could have indirectly benefited her real estate attorney's son. She insists she always cleared her votes with the city attorney. The Smiths argue Burge and Chairman Philip Beard have too many family members working for the city. So the night of the concert, Burge and the Smith's sons first exchanged words and then blows, leaving a mark on this proud city. Not only did I get a black eye, they're getting a black eye. And I apologize for that. I, this is, I love this town. Excuse me. Gwinnett police couldn't tell who started the fight, so they gave all four men tickets for disorderly conduct. They're due in court this week. Do you think he should resign? I don't. I, it, that's not any of my business. No, I'm not getting into that. I have no comment. I know you're very proud of the city and what you've accomplished. Uh, do, do you agree with uh, Commissioner Burrs that this gave the city a black eye? Well, we don't like it, put it that way. I, uh, I don't know that it, if there will be an ending to it. We'll see. Time will tell. As expected, no real drama here in tonight's meeting. As usual, Mr. Burge and Mrs. Smith sat side by side, often seconding each other's motions. Their sons, the three sons, were not in attendance tonight. All four men are due in court on Wednesday. Live in Buford, Randy Travis, Fox 5 News.